Today I Ray F. Rangin and my friends S. Singh will share with you frequently asked questions on Art Integrated Learning. We have taken content from Nishtha, Training Package Module 3-Art Integrated Learning. What is Art Integrated Learning? The dictionary meaning of integration is the act of combining or adding parts to make a unified whole. Thus, Art Integration means combining arts with the teaching of different curricular areas. Subjects such as the languages, social studies, sciences and mathematics can be made to correlate with art. Sometimes, arts can clarify science concepts with ease. Thus, the abstract concepts within the subjects can be concretized using different art forms. Learning in this way helps to increase knowledge and understanding of the subject area, and also fosters a greater appreciation of arts. This is what is called holistic or complete learning. Art provides a language for expression. This expression can be visual or in the form of a performance. What do we mean by visual arts and performing arts? An art form intended to be appreciated or perceived primarily by viewing, such as painting, photography, printmaking, stage art, clay modeling, sculpture, applied art and craft are termed as visual arts. Whereas performing arts include artistic expressions by using motor and vocal skills, facial expressions and body movements. They include dance, music, vocal and instrumental, theater, puppetry, mime, storytelling, martial arts, magic performance, cinema etc. What is the difference between art education and art integrated education? Art education is the process that encourages sensory explorations. It provides a platform to work with ideas and materials to create expression, which might not be expressed by words alone. Encourages this nonverbal expression to be brought forth, be it in the form of a song, a painting, or a performance. In integration, we work with the arts at the center of the curriculum. The abstract concepts of subject will be explored using different art forms. Art integrated classrooms can provide learning experiences that engage the learner's mind, heart and body. Here arts enable children to use multiple skills and abilities. What is the role of arts in making the learning process holistic and experiential? While engaging with arts, learners go through different stages, such as observing, thinking, imagining, exploring, experimenting, deducing, creating, recreating and expressing. These stages need actual involvement of all the three domains, cognitive, psychomotor and affective. Hence, it is experiential in nature and leads to the holistic development of every learner. The benefit of such experiential learning creates the basis for better learning in other subjects. How Art Integrated Learning Helps in Achieving Learning Outcomes Art Integrated Learning involves working on all the three domains, cognitive, psychomotor and affective domain, simultaneously, which fulfills the pedagogical need of competency-based learning and competence-based learning outcomes. Why Art Integrated Learning is considered as joyful learning? Arts are natural medium for free expression of one's imagination and thoughts, where every learner has the freedom to be different and unique. Art Integrated Learning as pedagogy at school level provides creative space to every learner to explore, experience, express celebrate without worrying about the judgment. Here the learner is encouraged to experience art as a process and not worry about the product which helps them overcome the subject fear and enhances their joy of doing and learning. Arts also address that diverse learning needs and provide every learner with alternative means of expression where they can explore and experience a topic more deeply without pressures of outcome, which results in joy of the learning. How Art Integrated Learning is Helpful in Inclusive Setup One of the most important aspects of art is that there is no right or wrong answer. Knowledge is approached in an experimental manner. Similarly those belonging to communities that suffer social ostracism can work easily alongside the others in the class, because art is a journey where no one has all the answers. Art activities help the children engage with each other, so that barriers are gradually broken, and children belonging to different backgrounds can communicate among themselves.